Welcome to our 12 Days of Christmas devotional. The book we are using is called Let Us Go Now to Bethlehem by Todd Outcalt. Today is day two, and the topic is ancestry. A reading from Isaiah, the ninth chapter. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. The author writes, Last year for Christmas, my wife received an Ancestry DNA kit. It is one of those popular packages that enable individuals to trace their lineage and in some cases discover a family line they did not know they had or relatives who were before unknown to them. It seems that ancestry research is one of the most popular trends among our younger people, and it's especially revealing for those who have been displaced or felt removed from their family history or their awareness of the past. A DNA test can reveal hidden passageways and relationships, connections that unite us to recent and distant history. The celebration of Christmas, while focusing on the birth of Jesus, can actually take us much farther back to a time when prophets and teachers envisioned a coming Messiah or anointed leader who would lead the people, as Moses had done generations before, from bondage to freedom. Others envisioned a great king in the line of David, another hero from the past. And still others believed the Messiah would be a great teacher or orator who would speak words of God. In all ages, people have longed to have connections with the divine, with God who created the whole human family. The Bible, one might say, is a spiritual genealogy, a history of our familial connections that unite us together in faith. The prophet Isaiah envisioned a great leader, a Messiah, who would be none other than God, a counselor, a prince, but also a present friend and helper whose authority and power would be unequaled. But we don't have to trace our spiritual lineage back to first century Judea to feel connected to Jesus. This is a gift we receive by faith. In Christ, we are told, we become spiritual heirs, sisters and brothers, bound together in his one body, the Church. Perhaps Christmas is one of the most cherished of seasons because we do become more acutely aware of these spiritual ties, these friendships and caring bonds that make us a family. Christmas is a good time to give thanks for the church, the family of God. Let us pray. God of all peoples, how wonderful are these thoughts of being spiritual heirs of Jesus. I am grateful that I am joined to him and to so many others who claim his name. I pray for the church today, for pastors and all leaders and all who serve. I pray for those who have entrusted the church to me, and I ask that I may cherish these friendships and mark them as some of the deepest blessings in my life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.